wonderful. She was just great, and she was a very, very nice person. She did it to put herself through school. Uh -huh. When she graduated, I think she uh, was a CPA, became a CPA. Yeah. And the day she graduated was the last time she did a show, and she was never seen as Julie tomorrow again. Do you remember? He was doing it to make money. And right. I mean, back then, right. when you yeah. performed, you if you were good, you, make you good made money. a lot. Of oh, sure. I mean, Gary and I, uh, the year that we worked at uh, Charlie's Lounge, we just saved our tips, and it paid for a trip to Miami one yeah. year. Yeah, and Gary was Rachel Winters. Yeah. Do you have a picture yeah. of Rachel Winters? Cause I've I do. Seen. I've got a couple of yeah. them from uh, one year when we were in the Miss, Miss, or Miss Illinois pageant over in Springfield. Oh, did you win? Did I do? No, no. Um, Do you know who won Miss Illinois when you were in it? No. no it's like, I, the only reason I asked is my friend's promoting it and wants me to work on the history, and I'm like, that's I, tough. <laughs> I'm a, I really don't remember yeah. who won. Um, Gary and I entered. Uh, Candy was there. Jim Massey was there. Um, I don't know... If Christy Cole entered that year or not, I really, I, I don't know how many of them were from this side of the, yeah. the state. Yeah. But um, we did that. Um, just, there was, oh God, what's the first writer girl? Genevieve. 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 Um, Down in Florida. Oh, now in Florida, yeah, okay. Now, now. Or okay. we found Genevieve. Uh, we found everybody. Yeah, we found but Julie yeah. tomorrow. Every living one. So and they're, wow. they've updated their bios and um, uh, Dusty Michaels and all. Yeah, of them. Uh, yeah, I remember Dusty Michaels. Dusty. A show. Uh, Jim had asked me to do a show. It was him and I think Tracy and Brenda Lee. Yeah. Um, I didn't even have. I had nothing. I had just hadn't done it for quite a few years and yeah. gotten rid of everything. And Jim was like, I got plenty of wigs, I got plenty of clothes. You know, that was just the candy you're talking yeah. about? Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was at the city center. Oh. That was okay. around the corner from Faces. Yeah. I don't think it lasted too long. No, it didn't. But that was the last time I did a show. Yeah. Um, oh, Lordy. That had to be sometime in the 90s. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I'm too old for this. <laughs> so are you, tell me about your, um, are you involved in the, the gay community now at all? Or uh... um, Not really. Uh, Bruce and I have been together for 27 years. We mm -hmm. met in 84. And um, in fact, we met at Martin's. And I did shows for a while after that. And after I quit doing drag, we don't go to the bars. It just, you know. Yeah. We do go occasionally over to um, the Gray Fox because mm -hmm. Miss Candy still sure, performs sure. Yeah. once in a while. Of course, Michelle yeah. McCausland and tomorrow morning. You know Michelle. Michelle was in. I've got a picture of her from it, and her and I both had the same blue top, blue sequin uh -huh. top for our evening gown. Yeah, <laughs> looked at each other. We were like. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Um, did you uh, did you go to the early Pride Fests? The the first we had, we did. Well, we lived over on Connecticut, mm -hmm. and uh, and of course we went. I remember when they were in Forest Park, right? And went out there several times, and went over to um, uh, Tower Grove when they moved it over there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of changes in the city when it comes to acceptance. And well, there's been a huge change. Um, I mean, since I came out, and I really came out in, I guess, around 70 mm -hmm. is when I really started realizing who I was. Um, I'd been married for nine years. And, and mm -hmm. uh, have three beautiful children. Mm -hmm. and I have seven wonderful grandchildren. Yeah. <laughs> I have two grand. My two oldest granddaughters are going to be twenty-three. Mm 
three this year. Wow. I know they were just yeah. 22 this year. They'll be 23 next year. How was the coming out process with the with the family? Um, um well, actually, um, my wife, I think, kind of knew what was going on before it really came out. Yeah. Um, never really discussed it with my kids. Um, Carth- my son was a year old, and my oldest daughter was six when we got divorced. Mm-hmm. And then I was with Gary for nine years, so they kind of grew up with me having a male roommate, yeah, so to speak. Um, we always had a two-bedroom apartment, so we always told them that you know Gary and I were sleeping in my right. room, so they could sleep in his room when they came for the weekend mm-hmm. or whatever. Uh, it wasn't until after Gary and I had separated. Um, we weren't in a relationship anymore, but we lived together for another two years while he was battling the cancer. Right. And when he got to the point where he needed somebody with him 24 um, 7, I couldn't quit my job. To right. Do that. So right. we sold our house. He moved back home with his parents. Yeah. And I got an apartment over in Lafayette Square. My oldest daughter was 16 that year, and she, uh, in fact, that's how I knew when those black and white pictures are from, Uh because she was born in 66, (laughs) and she was 16, and saw me in that show, and that was the first time she saw me in drag, but she came up to spend the summer with me, Yeah, and it was like, um, I think I need to tell you something. And I, so I sat down and had a conversation with her and um, told her that I was gay. And she said, oh, we know. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean you know? She said, oh, the three of us had a talk about that about three years ago. And we just decided you were gay. And that was the end. <laughs> Even if you weren't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I said, well, you never said anything. And she said, yeah. well, you never did either. Yeah. yeah. And it didn't make any difference to us. Well, you sir, so. what a What a great... Great. It's, I mean, it's, it has been all of my kids, all three of my kids and their partners, mm-hmm. um, my grandkids. We have, Bruce and I do Thanksgiving here every year. Oh, and my okay. ex-wife and her husband come for Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, well, that's great. So, I mean, it, there's never been any major rift yeah. in the family because of it. Well, you're truly blessed. I mean, that's Absolutely. Just, it's a wonderful, wonderful Absolutely. story. I mean, for the time frame... You right. really are so fortunate. Right. And, of course, both yeah. of my parents are gone. Mm-hmm. Um, and my... And Bruce's dad just passed away last year. And his mom knows his family almost. Yeah. Their friends. They live in a small town in northern Illinois. Yeah. So I think the whole damn town knows. But we've never had anything negative. Yeah. Ever so. Um, ironically, most of our friends are straight, mm-hmm. but we never really moved. We didn't get into going to the bars and doing a lot of stuff. And I guess we just kind of fell, yeah, out of the gay lifestyle in that respect. Yeah, I mean, it's like, what do you go to for us? You went to the yeah. bar to meet somebody. Right. Well, we met at Martin's. Mm-hmm. And so we had somebody. And plus people like to break you up, too. So that's another reason to stay away from the yeah, bars. Yeah, that, that could be. Of course, yeah. Bruce and I have never had any kind of a problem as far as jealousies or yeah. anything. Yeah. It's, um, our rocky road was when I found out how much younger he was than I am. <laughs> Because when I was with Gary, Gary was seven years younger than me. Yeah. And that was a pretty shaky relationship. And then when I met Bruce, I thought he was about my age, a few years, you know, maybe four years under me or something like yeah. that. Because I'd always said I'd never go up with anybody that was that much younger than me. Right. And we'd been together for probably about... 
four or five months uh -huh. when I found out he's 14 years younger than me. <laughs> it's like, pack your bags and get out. <laughs> he was like, what? I said, can't do it, you're too young. And he was like, well, I don't see what difference it makes if it doesn't bother me. Yeah. So here we are 27 years later and he hasn't caught up yet. Yeah. <laughs> How old, do you mind if I ask how old you are? I just turned 68 in August. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Yep. Another reason why I don't think drag's the thing yeah. for me to do. Yeah. Of course, you know, Miss Candy's a year younger than I am. Yeah, she's still going. Yeah, well, she's, she's still she's, going. Yeah.